here. Uh, I figured out what was happening on the volume front of things and I hope it's all fixed now so that my future videos are a little bit more clear. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to make this video because I've just been in a very reflective and very uh, just very content or contented mode and I'm just really relishing this time of year especially kind of as the year draws to a close that so much has gone on and I'm just so truly thankful for everything that one I've pieced together two I've done and things the experiences I've had and um, I'm about to go away on a five-day meditation retreat and I'm just really thankful for the opportunity to spend some time you know just being quiet um, I know this summer I had a month off and you know, that was going to be my, that was my intention at least. And then it got very celebratory in style. And I uh, actually just did a lot of socializing and partying. And um, I just was really excited. <laughs> and uh, with my, um, you know, new chest and such. So, um, and the new confidence that that gave me that uh, I was more out and about than I um, had time to really internalize everything. And so this week coming up, I'm really excited just to sit with everything and uh, journal a lot and um, take quiet walks and, you know, um, it's going to be on Salt Spring Island, which is just off the coast of uh, Vancouver. So that should be uh, really, really enjoyable and a much needed rest from, I don't know, the excitement of it all, right? I mean, there are things where, <clears throat> when at least for me, when I st everything started to make mu much more sense than it ever had before. It's just like, holy shit, I was like on such a high from that. And I still am to a certain degree, um, but now it's it's more integrated and, you know, um, more kind of more matter of fact. And there's still moments, um, especially as uh, I get in more increasingly read as male, uh, you know, there's little moments where I, I do little... Uh, little dance in my head because um, I'm so excited about uh, how people uh, perceive me. Um, th that said, uh, for the most part, it's just, you know, business as usual. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm, so, I'm very excited to, to go and to think about all these things and to reflect on how far I've come. And uh, I, I really can't believe it. It's, on the one hand, it feels... Uh, like nothing has changed and then on the other hand it feels like everything has changed and to straddle those kinds of two seemingly opposing states of being is a very interesting feeling um, but uh, it's it's what's going on right because um, even how I look at myself now like I could I could see myself I could truly 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 see myself and now I'm starting to hear myself and so uh, on a number of different sense sensory levels um, I am feeling you know like when I touch my chest now I feel myself and um, yeah I just I'm really blown away and now that other people are starting to pick up on that and see it whether they know me or not um, is very very profound um, and I'm so thankful for that because that was very perplexing for me, even though I couldn't put words to it for a long time. And so now that it's, it's coming, it's falling into place. It's not everything's there. Um, it's, yeah. And I would say the journey continues too in terms of um, there's research that I'm doing for possible future surgeries. Um, uh, pertaining to to my lower half uh, that would uh, further confirm and help me be more at ease and comfortable with my body and so that is really exciting on one hand and scary on another and but it's just interesting that you know things that used to scare me are just don't even register anymore you know like going into the men's washroom and the shower room doesn't I mean that was initially very you know nerve-wracking and in some instances still can be but for the most part it's just like me you know it's a, a standard part of my everyday uh, existence um, I was scared of going on testosterone and now it's just a, a regular thing as part of my week 
Um, I get a little reminder, you know, <laughs> tea time. <laughs> um, you know, there are so many things that I, you know, was initially very hesitant or and or scared. Uh, even surgery, before surgery, I mean, I that rocked me to my core. And I still went ahead with it, and it was the most fantastic experience ever. Like, I still think about that, you know, that moment um, after surgery. Uh, or just before being rolled into the, the OR, like, I just, I was so uh, elated. Like, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to replicate that feeling again in any other experience that I'll have. Maybe I will, I don't know, maybe in different dif in a different way. But um, so far to date, that's been probably the most profound thing I've experienced. Um, and so it just goes on and on. And, and I just, um, I think a lot of these are, are lessons that I'm applying to other things in my life. And as a result, I'm, I'm so much more confident. And I would say, not just confident um, in social settings or professional settings or whatnot, but also I feel like I deserve good things in my life too, right? Like I, I, I don't know how to explain it other than I, I am, I, I'm not willing to settle for what I did before, which was kind of like, I thought I had to earn people's love and I thought I had to, you know, perform to a certain standard at work for me to continue to be. And now I can kind of step up and say, no, this is what I require and these are my needs and, and expecting people to, to step up to the plate as well. I mean, I, of course, I'm there, and I'm, 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 I also fulfill my end of things too, right? I don't, I'm not kind of pendulum the other way in terms of being arrogant, but I just, I have this kind of more matter-of-fact um, belief in me, um, I think, because of all the, the confirming things I've done uh, to align myself better, uh, that it is it's it's spilled over into other areas of my life and so I don't know I could go on and on about this but it's just it's so so profound um and then on the other hand uh so exactly what my body and my mind need and expect that it's like well of course finally we're here like this is you know, what, what took you so long? Like, you know, and that's so, it's amazing to kind of put the final puzzle piece in the, the puzzle and then be able to save the whole picture, at least in terms of this thing. Of course, there are other mysteries in my life where I'm like, mm. but I know with enough, um, you know, persistence and hard work that, you know, eventually um, light will be shed on those as well. So I don't know. That's just what I've been reflecting on, you know, especially on milestones like end of year type of stuff so um i'm hoping that during this meditation retreat i'll continue to be able to explore those themes and to really relish and, and appreciate them because that's this it's a big deal it's a big deal and this is definitely not lost on me um the the magnitude of it all and um how well it's gone and um you know, the people around me have been just fantastic and amazing, amazing. I, I can't even believe it. There was um, one guy I run with, um, he approached me, he's like, you know, you're an integral part of this club and, um, you know, people really respect you and look up to you and, you know, um, we've got your back, like, no matter what. And I was like, fuck, that's just so amazing that kind of support and solidity. I mean, I have this, this sense of security that I don't feel like I've ever had. And um, part of it is me um, stepping up in, in my own um, affirmation and um, confirmation or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then people respond to it in, in kind. Um, and that's not to say that's across the board. There are, you know, there's, there's uh, other areas where it's more challenging and, um, you know, it's not everyone's going to be responding that way. But the healthy people and the people that you really want in your life are responding that way. And so that's that's what I really uh, focus and, and get excited about. Anyways, yammering on <laughs> about really exciting stuff. Anyways, um, I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday and happy new year. And uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, bye.